the big kahuna shark boy. Show the chubber! Oh, and Cassius Ono. Wow, he was able to... Another chubber! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, and welcome back to another PCW tournament. This time, it's for April 2018. Last month, we saw Wesley R. and Naito make away with the March 2018 PCW Championship along with the PCW Worlds Championship. In this tournament here this month for April 2018, we will crown a new April champion, and whoever wins this tournament will have a chance to face off against Wesley R. and Naito for the PCW Worlds Championship. If you're not sure what PCW is, PCW is a monthly simulation tournament with wrestlers representing patrons on my Patreon that are in a tier of $10 or more. Every patron that signs up will be assigned a wrestler and will be put into a bracket, and every month we'll have a tournament to crown a PCW monthly champion, and they have an opportunity to go for the PCW Worlds Championship. This month we had 32 patrons at the $10 or higher tier. That is right, man. That is over 10 more people than the last month's tournament, and that means we had to add more wrestlers, baby. So this time we have a ton of new wrestlers. People ranging from Neville to Andrade Cien Almas to Johnny Gargano to Minoru Suzuki. We have a ton of new people. And of course, if you're interested in participating in next month's tournament, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first match of the evening. In the first match of the evening, we have two wrestlers returning to the tournament here in April. We have Cassius Ono, who's making his way to the ring right now, and he'll be representing Zadok V this time around. And of course, our crowd favorite, we have Shark Boy making his way down to the PCW ring. And Shark Boy will be representing Regency Wrestling here this month in the PCW tournament. And of course, we have Ref James in the UNC Retro Sixes. Look at the, oh my God, them joints are looking hot. But now we have Shark Boy and Kajisono trying to figure out who is going to be the first person to move on to round two in the biggest PCW tournament to date. It looked like Cassius Ono was going back with something he's tried a lot in the first tournament, which was that suplex where he just kind of tosses their ass behind him. Cassius Ono don't care about nothing. I mean, he's a big, big boy. I mean, Shark Boy's kind of big. <laughs> when Shark Boy left TNA, my man was eating donuts on the couch. So, uh, my man Shark Boy, was, he was uh, cultivating mass, I think is the right way to say it. My man was cultivating quite the mass. But I don't know if he's going to be able to contend with the big boy that is Cassius Ono, especially if he starts ripping out some elbows. That's really going to be an issue up on the table there. But right now, it looks like Shark Boy's actually got the upper hand here. Going to go for a pin, but Cassius Ono is going to kick right out of that. Not even, not even giving it a second. He doesn't even want to. He doesn't even want to humor Shark Boy. Cassius Ono is just going to get out of it almost immediately. Looking for something in the corner, but Shark Boy is going to tag him for real, brother. <laughs> uh oh, wait a minute. Nope, Shark Boy able to get out of it again. Maybe uh, we see a little bit of uh, swiftness here from Shark Boy. You know, maybe he he drops some of the poundages from TNA. And yeah, as we can see here, he's starting to get off a little early. Shark Boy throwing some punches. He is throwing some punches, and Cassius is just taking him right to the face. He's not even falling down. But that Bulldog is going to send Cassius right to the floor there as Shark Boy looks to continue this momentum and hopefully hit that chummer. Oh, Nova Driver straight into the floor. He's going to send Shark Boy out cold. Cassius Ono going to pick him up. No, Shark Boy. Okay, tell me my man's got some moves on him. All right, Frankensteiner there from Shark Boy who now goes for a pin. Remember, in PCW, there are no rope breaks. That's a very unique rule here to PCW, and a lot of the competitors are not used to that the first time around, but both these dudes were in the last tournament, so they know what's going on here. Of course, Zadok V representing Cassius Ono, or I guess the other way around there, Shark Boy representing Regency Wrestling. Big drop kick there from Cassius Ono, who sends Shark Boy to the floor. Shark Boy off the ropes, sends Cassius Ono. Big neck breaker there from Shark Boy, who is not, well, we're not gonna, as far as everyone's concerned, he's a shark out of water in real life. <laughs> shark Boy. Oh, wait a minute. Enzigiri step up there from Cassius Ono, but Cassius Ono seems to be a little gassed, which is going to be an issue for him, especially if he's getting in later on into the tournament there with people like CM Punk and all them other people in the tournament. He's going to have a couple of issues with that. Cassius Ono trying to take a breather there, trying to get that breath back, but Shark Boy's going to send him into the corner. Oh, he's using the top of that. That's not even fair. He's using the fin on the top of his head. Shark Boy. Oh, give up. Shark Boy and Cassius Ono going back into the mix here, but Cassius Ono throwing off of the little punches of his own, trying to catch his breath, see if he can hit something up there. 
Catch his own. A rolling elbow on Shark Boy. I think he's out cold. I think that is all she wrote. <gasps> 2.9. Shark Boy able to kick out. Huh. I'll be damned. Shark Boy ain't ready to give up just yet. I thought that was it. I thought my man got knocked out cold. That's usually how it be with Cassius Ono. Into the corner. Shark Boy once again. Using the top of that head. Give up? Give up. Give up. No, he's not going to give up. Surprise, surprise. Cassius Ono not going to give up. Oh, what the hell is he doing up there? <laughs> Double foot stop from Cassius Ono. Uh-oh, into the corner goes Shark Boy. Oh, he's giving him a little bit of his own medicine. As Cassius Ono... Oh, my God! Shark Boy tried to go for that Frankensteiner again, but gets stuffed with a power bomb. Shark Boy with a forearm to the head, knocking out Cassius Ono. Big drop kick here from Shark Boy. As Cassius Ono... Oh, there it goes again, where he just kind of does a jump and suplex there. Big move, drop Shark Boy, goes for the pin. Oh, 2.9. Shark Boy able to answer the call once again. Frankenstein rolls through with it. No, just a two count on Cassius Ono. Side rush and leg sweep from Shark Boy. All, I mean, I'm telling you, all it takes is one chummer. And that's all she wrote. Can Shark Boy hit it is the question. Bulldog there from Shark Boy sends down Cassius Ono. Got a pin going down. Just a two count. Wait a minute. Shark Boy with a snap suplex on Cassius Ono. Going for the inside leg there on Cassius Ono. Interesting. But Cassius is going to drive him headfirst into the mat. That big boy strong style from Cassius Ono. You're going to get hurt. Oh, here it goes. They are holding nothing back here. Shark Boy said not today. Drop kick. Cassius Ono rolling elbow. Oh, my God. Oh, and Shark Boy is able to kick out at just two. Oh, wait a minute. Roll through by Shark Boy. Just a two as Cassius Ono is up to his feet. But Shark Boy was playing possum there. Oh no. What the hell was that? He just kind of tossed Shark Boy like a wet piece of noodle. Roll through again after the Frankensteiner from Shark Boy. Just a two count. Cassius Ono able to answer the call. Another one again. Shark Boy wants to get out of this match with a win as soon as possible. Oh, he stopped him a third time. That's not going to work. Cassius Ono. No, just a two count as Shark Boy is able to answer the call off the ropes. These dudes are going in. Bicycle kick from Cassius Ono. That could have knocked him out cold. No, 2.9 from Shark Boy again. The resiliency of the big dog. Well, I guess the big fish. As a drop kick lays out Cassius Ono, a big kahuna. <laughs> the big kahuna Shark Boy. Show the jumper! Oh, and Cassius Ono. Wow, he was able to... Another chummer! Oh my god, and Cassius Ono kicked out of the chummer twice. Wait a minute. No, Cassius Ono... Oh, another double foot stomp. I cannot believe two chummers. Cassius Ono catching his breath there. Good decision, I think, from him. We'll see if it pays off here. My man is so gassed right now. So gassed. We saw two chummers and Cassius Ono was able to answer both of them. Shark Boy sent him to the floor. This is actually, I'll be honest with you, I did not expect this sort of match to start the tournament, but damn, we are starting off hot here for the April PCW Championship Tournament. Whew. Enzigiri sends Shark Boy to the floor. We could see seen a rolling elbow here soon from Cassius Ono. Oh no, the Luthez press! And they're both out for a reset here. Shark Boy able to get up first. Another bulldog from Sharky, the big kahuna. <laughs> Punch to the stomach, Shark Boy off the ropes with a big splash. Cassius back up. Oh, stuffing it again. And that is all she wrote as Cassius Ono will be moving on. It looked like Shark Boy was going to get it done. But Cassius Ono will be moving on to round two of the PCW tournament. Damn, that ended up being pretty good for the opening match. Cassius Ono and Zadok V moving on as we have Andrade Cien Almas making his PCW debut here tonight representing Dean L. And look who he's facing off against. None other than Drew McIntyre. Almas defeated Drew McIntyre in the WWE 
to become the NXT champion. Will he be able to defeat him here tonight in PCW and move on to round number two of the PCW April tournament? Drew McIntyre is representing Mr. Weston. Will he be able to do it? Or will he fall? Let's get it on, baby. Ref James, of course, officiating the match as CN Almas is going straight for the boy Drew McIntyre. There's no Zelina Vega here tonight. So we'll see if Andrade can get it done or if Drew McIntyre is going to Claymore kick his way to the second round. Did you see that leap? That was a pretty damn impressive leap. But these two dudes got their work laid out for him as we just saw Sharkboy and Cassius Ono tear the damn roof off the place. I don't know if Drew McIntyre is uh, looking forward to blowing the roof off the place or blowing the head off of Andrade Cien Almas and moving on. We'll see which way he wants to take this matchup here. But Almas is in full control of this matchup early on, being able to take control of Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, of course, was in the tournament last month. Cien's, this is his first time in the PCW tournament. You never know. Ooh, nice. Okay, taking down Drew McIntyre with a little Rana of his own there into a senton. He is in full control. Drew McIntyre is getting this work right now. Oh my God, look at the leaping ability of Andrade Cien Almas. It's just incredible. This man is something else. He is showing off here for his first turn. Oh, underneath, okay. Taking down Drew McIntyre, another, okay. Here we go, Drew McIntyre gonna start taking him down, taking that arm out. Frankensteiner there from Andrade Cien Almas. As, as, speaking of the Frankensteiner, Scott Steiner is also in this tournament who just became a tag team champion in 2018, which is absolutely insane. And now the boys are going off. Drew McIntyre going to get the upper hand on that exchange. But Cien Almas is going to be able to turn that around with a headbutt of his own. Drew McIntyre able to fire back. Both these boys now at a reset. Oh, a drop kick there from Cien. But that's not going to be able to do anything as he moves right out the way. I mean, all, all, all Andrade has to do is hit that hammerlock DDT. And that's it. Oh, my God. One, the, the amount of disrespect. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I'm sure that's what the Hammerlock DT. I don't think the Hammerlock DT is actually in this game. So I'm sure that's what it was <laughs> supposed to be. Because <laughs> if not, that's crazy. <laughs> Roll through there for Cien Amas. 2.9 as Drew McIntyre kicks out. Off the ropes. <laughs> El Idolo. Oh, wait a minute. Drew McIntyre with a suplex. He's going to have to do something. Because if that was supposed to be the Hammerlock DDT... That is not looking good because I know my man is hurt. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Drop and see an almost with a little white noise. One, two. Able to kick out at just a two. Rolling through again. This is a very popular move this tournament so far. Hasn't come with such success just yet, but you never know with these sort of things. Almost waiting for him to get up. Oh! Big uppercut off the top rope. That was hot fire into a senton. This dude is a workhorse. Andrade and Dean trying to move on. They're, they do not want Drew McIntyre and Mr. Weston in this next round. They are showing off. Oh, wait a minute. Who is Drew McIntyre down? Almost looking for a pin there. Drew McIntyre's got to fire back with something. A Claymore kick or something's got to take this man out. Off the ropes. Oh, a big sit out spine buster there from Drew McIntyre. Not going to be enough as Cien Almas is able to answer the call at just a two. Another suplex lays him out. You're not going to see anything too crazy from Drew McIntyre, but that man will beat the hell out of you. That is just the hard truth. Wait a minute. Maybe looking for something there, but Cien Almas is going to be able to get out of that. Wait a minute. Hammerlock DDT! That could be the end of Drew McIntyre. No! Able to kick out at just two. You think maybe Cien Almas is the kryptonite for Drew McIntyre, but honestly, I don't know. What is this? Jesus Christ! This man just brought out a tombstone pile drill. When have you seen Drew McIntyre? Future Shock DDT! Oh my God, my man's able to answer the call. Rolling through again, he's just trying to get out of this match now. He is just trying to get out of this match now. Another one there from Cien Amas. Drew McIntyre down just a two count again. Oh, able to get behind Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre with a fist. Another one there from Cien Almas. No, just a two count. And now Drew McIntyre has him right where he wants him. Drew with a gut buster. No, Cien's actually able to counter back. Oh, a roll through there from Drew McIntyre. No, just a two count. 
Almost now on the top. Big frog splash. Just a two as Drew McIntyre is able to kick out. El Idolo. He wants to finish this match. McIntyre with a suplex to the floor on the outside there. Uh-oh. Looks like Almas is a little groggy out there. Throwing him into the barricade. Drew McIntyre is trying to get some damage in before they go back inside the ring here. Oh, going for a pin on the outside of the ring. That's not going to work. As he gets back in the ring, Drew McIntyre now. Oh, wait a minute. The boys is going at it. El Idolo with a kick. Drew McIntyre with a clothesline. And they're both reset, but Drew McIntyre is able to answer back with a pin. And a 2.9. You thought maybe, you thought maybe for a second that Andrade was down. A big uppercut sends Drew McIntyre to the floor. Off the ropes goes Drew, maybe looking for that Claymore kick, but he was, he was not able to get anywhere near that. Into the corner. Drew McIntyre now sending him to the top rope. What is he thinking here? Superplex, maybe? Big superplex. He's got to go for the pin after that. 2.9. Andrade able to kick out of the superplex. Trying to finish this match ASAP. Three, and he gets it. After time, after time, after time. El Idolo does it. Rolling through the Frankensteiner and picking up the win. Andrade, Cien Almas, and Dean L are moving on to the next round, taking down Drew McIntyre and Mr. Weston. Andrade making a name for himself. First tournament, moving on to the next round. And speaking of... We also have a new person coming into this tournament in this matchup. Of course, it's not this man. Austin Aries making his second PCW appearance. But Austin Aries will be representing Chris D as he faces off against a newcomer. Let's see who it is. None other than Tomato Cheddar himself, Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso will be representing Stefan J in this tournament. Look how tan and jack this man is. Will he be able to take down the belt collector, Austin Aries? Well, oh, Aries set his ass down. And now the match is underway. Aries throwing tomato cheddar into the corner. My man's going to the other side of the ring too. Austin Aries, big body slam to start it off. And Aries is starting off hot. Damn, I guess that was a little more aggressive of a body slam there from Tommaso Ciampa, huh? Oh, he's going for a pin early. Oh, my man with the disrespect. A little bit of a disrespect there from Tomato Cheddar. Because now he's just beating Austin Aries in the face. Aries, who recently lost his Impact World Championship against Pentagon Jr. at a TNA pay-per-view, now looking to maybe collect a new belt to take that place, the PCW Championship. And we'll see if he can get it done or if Tomato Cheddar will take him down with the easy peasy. A chop to Austin Aries' chest. Tommaso Ciampa now with a suplex of his own. Oh, it's it. Aries to the floor on the outside there. <laughs> He's feeling himself. Okay. Double kicks from both men. Slapping hands. Slapping hands. Uh-oh. Big forearm there from Austin Aries. Sends Tomato Cheddar to the floor. There we go. Oh, okay. Going down underneath. We saw Andrade seeing Almas in the last match going over. Tommaso Ciampa going to go underneath there. Body slam from Austin Aries. Sends him to the floor. Aries going for a kick off the ropes again. Maybe going for something a little different this time. Just your basic back body drop into a Boston Crab. Tomato Cheddar ain't gonna have no Boston Crab. Another aggressive body slam sends Aries to the floor a one count this time. That's better than zero. Into the corner goes Austin Aries. Tommaso maybe looking for something in the corner, but Aries was able to answer that call. Suplex from Tommaso. The crowd is like going crazy. Oh, he went for a little discus clothesline there. And now the boys are teeing off. Austin Aries picks Tommaso Ciampa up. Big forearm sends the big man to the... Good God! Discus Lariat there from Tommaso Ciampa. But Aries is able to fire back with a backbreaker of his own there. Almost a sidewalk slam more like it. Uh-oh. Chopped to the chest from... Look how, look how tan this dude is compared to Austin Aries. It's insane. This man is truly brown. It's crazy. Aries going to go for a pin. Ref James going down for the count, but just a one. What is this? Oh, a Rings of Saturn. What a move there from Tommaso Ciampa. He sends Aries to the ground. Another one. He wants this man to give up. But he is not going to give up. 
as Ares picks him up from the floor. Ciampa now with a suplex of his own. Picks up the little man, Ares, with another discus lariat, but Ares able to answer that call into a straight STO. Oh my god, the combination. Tommaso said it is over. Big drop kick there, sends him to the floor. Ares able to answer the call before Tommaso. My I saw injury there. I'm not too sure what just happened. Wait a minute. Picked him up. Brain Buster! That could be it! Ares moving on. 2.9. The man is able to answer. Oh, and he lays him out cold right there. We've seen a lot of white noises, huh? We've seen a hell of a lot of white noises. Another Brain Buster, and his man is out cold. That's a three. Austin Aries is moving. 2.9.999999. Repeating, of course. It is not over yet as both men are now fighting on the outside here. Oh, wait a minute. STO, is he going to go for a count out victory here? No, he's not. Aries picking up Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, what? Is this man breaking? Oh, what? <laughs> this man did it twice in a row. He truly don't care. Oh, wait a minute. Project Ciampa, he's got it locked in. No. This man, Aries, giving a little shouts out to the Miz, a high knee in the corner there. But Ares, oh, dropping him on his head straight into the turnbuckle. Ares looking for a discus elbow there. Tommaso going to move out of the way as he picks him up off the ground. Goes for a high knee, hits it hard. A big forearm to the back of the head. Oh, wait a minute, roll through from Austin Ares. No, just a two count there. Both men want to move on to this match and eat defeat there. From Tommaso Ciampa sends Ares to the floor. A discus. Oh, there's the Project Ciampa again. Does he, is he gonna give? Is he gonna give up? Austin Aries does not give up. Would you look at that? Aries picks up Ciampa. Oh, big discus forearm. Is that gonna knock him out cold? And it does. That big piece of shit, Tommaso Ciampa, will be leaving this tournament early as Austin Aries and Chris D move on to the next round. Tommaso Ciampa tried to get it done. Multiple Project Ciampa 2s just not able to get it done as Austin Aries and Chris D move on. And now we have Cody making his way down to the ring representing Koki the Clown. Will Cody be able to get it done? Or will Braun Strowman run through this man like a brick shit house. We will see as Braun Strowman is representing Mass Effects. Cody versus Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is looking for a W this time around in the PCW tournament. Let's get this match underway right now. Cody gonna go ahead and go for the arms of Braun Strowman. It's not even knocking him down. Oh, there we go. Braun Strowman finally eating the floor there after the second move. Cody now in full control. And this is where he needs to stay, because if you give Braun Strowman even a little bit, he's going to take a lot. Cody trying to pick Braun Strowman up, but Strowman's going to hit him with that suplex and send him back down to the floor. I don't think so. I mean, Cody, look, look Cody's looking kind of shredded, man. He's looking real jacked, baby. He's looking real jacked. I mean, you're facing Braun Strowman, so you're going to have to figure out something around there. You know what I'm saying? Strowman now body slam sends Cody to the floor. Damn, bro, is Braun Strowman going to go for a body slam pin? I'll be diddly damned on that one. My man don't care about nothing. Braun Strowman believes in his strength that much, and he would go for that. Cody body slam now sends Braun Strowman to the ground, and so far this has been a lot of Cody. Oh, my goodness. Look at that stalling suplex from the big man. This man is wrestling in Tim's. Look at this. How do you stop this? How do you stop a man wrestling in Tim's? You don't. You can't. It just don't happen. Oh, Braun Strowman going for another suplex, but Cody going to get behind him with a forearm. He sends Braun Strowman off the road. <laughs> Braun Strowman just literally runs into Cody. Just literally runs into him. One, yeah, that'll do. Two. <laughs> Back into the ring. That voice, though. 
Going for the arms again. This is the same move we saw at the start of the match between Cody and Braun Strowman. And Braun said, I got a move for you. You want to go for my arms? I got a move for you, big dog. How's that sound? Braun picking Cody up in the corner of the ring here. And Cody going to, this is what he needs to do. He needs to get these little cheese moves like this on Strowman because he needs to be in control of Strowman at all times. This is not what Cody wants to do. As Strowman just levels him, but Str oh, Strowman actually taking a little bit of damage from Cody himself. Cody is absolutely the underdog. Oh my God, he's bleeding. And he got choke slammed to hell. Cody kick it. Cody is bleeding all over the PCW mat. Running power slam. I think that I, we need to get Cody some medical attention. No. Cody kicking out again. The running power slam. Oh, man. We need to get C Cody. Look, man. It's all right. Oh, my Cody. Listen, dude. I know. I know you're representing Cody the Clown. I know this is a big deal to you. But you were going to die in here, man. Braun Strowman is going to kill you. Cody's still not giving up. Mass Effects and Braun Strowman. This is not going down like I think Cody expected it to. Wait a minute. Oh, my man brought out the... Wait a minute. Cody firing back with a bunch of moves in succession. Dropping Braun Strowman. This man is busted wide open trying to make a run for it. Cody trying to make a comeback here. Drop kick, but Braun Strowman just doesn't care about a drop kick. Into the corner goes Cody, but Cody going to fire back with an elbow. A bionic one even from the corner. Braun's got Cody in the corner, busted wide open. Oh my god, trio woe here from Braun. He's just kicking him in the dick. This man, Braun Strowman, is ruthless. Cody is just, this whole mat is blood stained. Oh, he goes for a big boot, but Cody able to fire back with a move of his own. Okay. Oh my God, Braun Strowman just no sold the hell out of that. A knee bar here from, is, is Braun gonna give up? No, he is not as he's able to get right back up. Oh, a big DDT right there and Paler from Cody Rhodes. Not exactly what you think you would. It's a crossroads of Braun Strowman. One, two. Oh, just a two, not even a two. Braun Strowman is pissed. Cody with a bionic elbow there. Oh my God, I think Cody is just, he don't even know where he's at anymore. It's all right, Cody. It's all right, man. Holy shit, sending Braun Strowman to the floor with a suplex, telling him to just bring it. I don't know if we've ever seen this sort of fire from Cody before, but Braun Strowman is definitely gonna bring it. Closed lines his head into the floor. Oh my God, Cody and Braun both on the outside of the ring. Cody answering the call. Braun Strowman center of the ring. Cody did this move before and it worked. It gets Braun Strowman to the floor, which is where he wants Strowman. Big clothesline sends Strowman down. Cody's gonna pick him right back up. Center of the ring, both men. Cody kicking him, dropping a knee on Strowman. Looking for that momentum, but Strowman gonna fire back with a move of his own. Into the corner, both men go. Top, wait a minute, what is this? Wait a minute, oh my God. Oh my God, power slam from the second rope. That is all she wrote, Cody gave it his all. He bled for this. But at the end of the day, Braun Strowman and Mass Effects are just too strong. What an absolute banger of a match. And now we are moving on to the next one. We have Johnny Gargano making his PCW debut, representing none other than Hale Mendoza. And he will be facing off against none other than the big, sexy diesel truck dad, Kevin Nash. And Kevin Nash will be representing Ritsu Bliss. And here we go. We got Kevin Nash, the big dog, versus Johnny Gargano, the big dog. Who is going to come out of this match, the big dog? Kevin Nash making his name in the first PCW tournament, looking to maybe come out with a victory this time around. And I guess a young gun like Johnny Gargano, who has more losses than wins on his record, that's for sure. That is a good opportunity for Kevin Nash. But Johnny Gargano's got heart. And Hart will take you somewhere in this business, and we'll see if he can get it done here tonight in his debut for PCW and move on.
to the second round. <laughs> Did you hear those yellings there from Johnny Gargano? Interesting moves from my boy. Firing off with some elbows, okay. Kevin Nash just kicking him down. Oh my God, Kevin Nash going for the pin after the kick. Kevin Nash, said, eh, that's all I'm gonna do. You want a power bomb? You want a jackknife? That'll be an extra five grand. You want me to do my taunt? You want a two sweet? Extra five grand. Body slam from Johnny Gargano sends Kevin Nash to the floor. Kevin able to answer, not even a little hurt. Snap suplex from Johnny. Uh oh, here we go. Going for that arm. He wants to break that thing off. Kevin Nash has got some ideas. He came in here with a game plan, which is more than you can ask for Kevin Nash because we had to pay him an extra five grand just to get a game plan. Oh, wait a minute. They are firing off here. Johnny Gargano is actually the one to come out with the upper hand and Kevin Gann, okay, I don't think all that. Johnny Gargano firing off with some elbows. Kevin Nash firing off with some hands. Into the corner goes Johnny Gargano, but he's able to answer before Kevin Nash gets in the corner. You know them big boy elbows from Kevin Nash in the corner are gonna be an issue. Johnny Gargano's been watching the tapes. He's a big ass nerd ass mark. So of course you've seen all the Kevin Nash tapes. Johnny Gargano with a drop kick, drop him a man. Oh, a big cutter there from Johnny Gargano. Kevin Nash on the floor now after a DDT. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought we were gonna maybe see a Gargano escape, but no, that's not what he was gonna do. He was trying to get him in a predicament. I don't know how many times, I'm pretty sure you can count on one hand how many times Kevin Nash has ever seen that pin. Maybe that's even the first time he's ever seen that pin. Suplex to the floor on the outside. Kevin Nash does not care about the well-being of a Johnny Gargano. He's just here so he won't be fined. Kevin Nash now back into the ring, firing off hands in the corner. What the hell? Oh, I thought he was going to go maybe for a Steiner screwdriver. I didn't know what to expect there, but he just kind of tosses Johnny Gargano. Big boy elbow from the big sexy diesel dad. Kevin Nash. Kicks right out at one. Not even close, baby. Oh, wait a minute. Jackknife powerbomb. Down goes the small man, Johnny Gargano. No, a kick. Damn, dude. Don't kick out of too many of those. There's an extra five grand every time you kick out of it. Come on, dude. At least think of the promotion. I know it's your first time here, but you got to have some respect, boys, here. Big kick drops Kevin Nash to the floor. Off the Look at the speed of Johnny Gargano into a drop kick there. That speed is just something else as he fires off on Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash now sends him off the horse. Big boot there from the big dog. Into the corner goes Johnny Gargano as he kicks Kevin Nash in the sternum. Big drop kick to the back of the head. Oh, okay. Dropping Kevin Nash there. Oh, I thought we were going to maybe get a three count. That was only a two, though. Oh, Kevin Nash going to bring him back around the merry-go-round for a big clothesline. Boot drops him down cold. Kevin Nash is a killer. Another clothesline there from the big sex dad. Oh, what the hell was that? Kind of just picked Kevin Nash up over himself. Wait a minute. My man got him in, in a yes lock. Maybe a shout out to Daniel Bryan, who is also in this tournament. DDT drops Kevin Nash to the floor. Oh, Enzigiri drops Kevin Nash. I'm surprised he was able to get that high. The size difference between Kevin Nash and Johnny Gargano is pretty substantial. Drop kick into the corner there as Kevin Nash is now on woozy feet. Oh my God, no, not an extra five grand from Kevin Nash. Oh, and just, oh God, please. You're gonna run us out of business, Johnny. You're gonna run us out of business, man. Johnny from the top, double foot stomp. Kevin turns around, sends him back into the corner. He, oh, wait a minute, the big knees. Uh-oh, into the corner, Johnny Gargano's got him. Drop kick again, now both men at a reset. Johnny, uh-oh. They're trading again. They're firing off. Jo oh, Johnny with a big, wait a minute, Kevin Nash. He answered right back with a big boot of his own. Hey, man, you got to give it to the big dog, Kevin Nash. This man is putting it all in here. Johnny Gargano the same, but Kevin Nash is like 100 years old at this point. This man has seen everything in the biz. Cutter there from Johnny Gargano. Kind of like a reverse cutter, a neck breaker there from Johnny Gargano. That was an interesting little move you decided to do there. Sending Johnny Gargano to the floor. Kevin Nett. Uh oh, not another jackknife, man. We ain't I don't have enough money to send this dude. Oh, okay. Doing almost like a neck breaker. Oh. What? 
That's what ended the match. Kevin Nash not able to answer the call as Johnny Gargano and Hale Mendoza are moving on. I told you sometimes all it takes is a little heart in the wrestling business, and that's what it'll take to get you there. The pull down face buster. That's quite the move name <laughs> as Johnny Gargano moves on. Now we got some real shooters coming into this next matchup. We got CM Punk, the man that dropped a critical last tournament. We'll see if he can do that again as he's representing Mary W this time around. And we'll see if CM Punk, the self-proclaimed best in the world, makes it to round number two in the PCW tournament. And making his debut in PCW, we have the man that's been on hiatus for a while now, but he's back and he wants this championship. None other than the king of the cruiserweights, the man gravity forgot, Neville. And Neville is representing Sydney W as he looks to move on to round number two. Let's get this match underway here. A DDT from Neville, who, I, like I said, we have not seen in a while. You gotta wonder if the ring rust has got to him or not. He still looks like he's in absolutely incredible shape. I mean, look at this dude. He's a physical specimen here. An absolute physical specimen. But tonight he's facing CM Punk, and that go to sleep will take your ass out in a second. That's exactly what Neville's got to look out for. He's got to look out for those combinations. He's got to look out for these bosses. He's just got to look out for anything CM Punk can throw at him, period. Because they can get real crazy real quick. Neville seems to do, does seem to have the upper hand here, though. As CM Punk's going to drag him back to the center of the ring and say, No, we're going right back to this good old good Boston Crab. CM Punk now dragging him back. Is he going to look at the Boston Crab again? He might want this man's legs. Which is not a bad, you know what, it's not even a bad decision to do that. As without his legs, Neville is not quite the man that you would expect him to be. Neville picking CM Punk back up, throwing him into the corner now. Oh, CM Punk able to get out of the way. This man 200 IQ out here. Big DDT lays Neville out in the corner. Oh, a big punch to this. Oh, Neville keeps going back to this one move. It's interesting. Looks like he's, he's limb targeting. Big upper, uh-oh. We got the uppercut, the punch, the uppercut, the punch. The uppercut lays out CM Punk, and now he's going for that leg. As CM Punk is able to call back and answer, big kick to the midsection. Look at the speed, the agility. I think he was just showing off. I think he was just showing his speed. Oh, baseball slide kick there. That's the move that injured Neville, I believe, at one point, wasn't it? As now Neville is getting back up. Into an enzigiri on CM Punk who picks he wow. Another enzigiri. Oh, I don't know. This man's got a lot of balls doing that move all these times. Hey. It is what it is though. Dropping an elbow there on Neville as CM Punk looks to get back into this matchup. All it takes is one GTS though. We should come out of left. Oh, another Boston Crab. Do you give up? Does my man give up? Oh my god, just stretching CM Punk over his knees. Neville is just something else entirely, man. He is just something else entirely. Big swinging neck breaker there from CM Punk. Oh my God, my man's got, he's about to make him tap. Anaconda Vices, does he give up? No, he doesn't as Neville is able to get out of that. Into a body slam, we are exactly where Neville wants CM Punk to be. By a turnbuckle because that red arrow is something else. Big elbow to the top of the head, big kick to the midsection. Neville now gonna go for a pin on CM Punk. Just a two count there as CM Punk moves out of the way. Oh, big kick to the forehead. Again, he wants to rip that arm off. I guess he really can't hit that go to sleep if he can't use his arm to keep his head where he wants it to keep it, huh? He's gotta be able to get him on his shoulders too. That's a smart decision from Neville. CM Punk doing the same thing, going for the legs of Neville, trying to make it so he can't use that red arrow anymore, but Neville's got a lot of moves in his arsenals now. Oh my God, the rings of Saturn is locked in. No, he's not gonna give up. What is this? Oh, big sit out power bomb from Neville there. 2.9. CM Punk. Uh oh, CM Punk went for the punch, but Neville said, nah, you good. Wait a minute. Top right. <gasps> red arrow. Wait, was that a red arrow? What was that? Another one. This many to back to back red arrows. And CM Punk. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The internet is going to have a fun one with this one. I can read it now. Neville once again gets him up with another sit out power bomb. Goes for that pin. And just a two is C man, CM Punk is brolic. This man is absolutely brolic. 
Neville kick to the midsection. Big German suplex bridge. And that's all she wrote. Neville put out CM Punk. Neville in his debut for PCW sends CM Punk back to the bingo halls. Neville and Sydney W will be moving on to round number two. Making his debut in PCW, we have none other than the man that is never truly good and he is never truly evil. We have Aleister Black representing Julian B making his way to the ring tonight to face a PCW veteran. None other than Daniel Bryan. Kicks versus kicks. Daniel Bryan will be representing Craig R tonight in this tournament. We'll see what my man can bring to the table. This will definitely be an interesting matchup. I'm sure we will be seeing a ton of kicks from both of these men. Funny enough, the first mat the first move we see is a chop, but nonetheless, the boys are still going to go at it. Chop City throwing some forearms. A test of strength here from Daniel Bryan and Aleister Black. Aleister Black, uh, maybe a smidge bit taller than Daniel Bryan. Maybe just a little bit. But the kicks from Daniel Bryan will reach Aleister Black one way or another. So my man's going to have to watch out for that. He catches that kick into a dragon course. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of that this match. That is absolutely for sure as Daniel Bryan flips Aleister Black over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes. A dude doesn't care about nothing. Daniel Bryan going to go for the pin as Aleister Black says, Nah, you good. Now flipping Daniel Bryan over. Big dog going for a big dog suplex. One black mass is all it takes. But one yes lock is all it takes for Aleister Black to give up. Uh oh, going for the 10 count punch in the corner now. A single leg Boston Crab has Daniel Bryan given up, but he does not do so. And now Alistair flips Daniel Bryan over, kicks him in the back there, goes for a Pinsky. Able to kick out. Uh oh, here we go. The boys are firing off. Alistair Black, Daniel Bryan, Alistair Black, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan going to come out with the upper hand on that little exchange as they go off the ropes, and Daniel Bryan delivers a crushing forearm, but there's a kick right there you do not want to see when you wake up in the morning. Big driver there, but oh my god, Daniel Bryan's going to answer. Oh, hey. Hey. What we just see right there. I was looking a little wild now. Oh, wait a minute. Able to get into an arm bar. That was a pretty unique reversal there from Daniel Bryan, who is now looking to sauce this fool. Big belly to belly sends him to the ground. Uh-oh. The punches. They're wait a minute. Airplane spin from Daniel Bryan. And now they're both discombobulated. It's always an interesting move. The kicks to the chest send Daniel Bryan to the floor. Oh, a big cutter there from Alistair Black. Oh, a dragon sleeper. I don't know if this is what Daniel Bryan expected to see coming into this matchup. The dragon sleeper. Oh, an octopus. Yo! My man is stretching him out good. Alistair Black bringing a lot of moves out here, ain't he? Drop kick from Daniel Bryan sends the boy to the floor as he picks him right back up. Center of the ring is where Daniel Bryan will want him for that yes lock. Into the corner goes Daniel Bryan. Oh, a big step up knee. Interesting move there from Alistair Black. Big cutter sends him to the floor. Big clothesline. Daniel Bryan is getting the shit kicked out of him right now. Cut. What? Daniel Bryan's back to his feet. He is back to his feet. Hey, man, we were talking about heart. Oh, going for the... Wow, did you see the block there from Aleister Black? Now we have a reset for both minutes. Aleister Black picks up Daniel Bryan and goes for another cutter. But Daniel Bryan back to his feet already. Big buzzsaw kick. As Aleister Black... Wait, Aleister Black able to answer back. Clothesline, Daniel Bryan moves out of the way. He said, well, okay, one more time then. Buzzsaw kick again. Top rope goes Daniel Bryan. Oh, he was looking for that headbutt. Maybe but Aleister Black was able to answer. My man dropping the yes chance. The kicks. Oh, my man wants him to give up. Is Daniel Bryan going to give up? No. He's trying to catch his breath. Oh, my God. He wants it. This is crazy. Will Daniel Bryan be able to see through all of these submissions here from Aleister Black? You thought it would be the other way around. Wait a minute. Another airplane spin from Daniel Bryan. Aleister Black down. Oh, going for the big clothesline. No. Oh, my God. This is incredible. This is incredible. The fact that Daniel Bryan has not given up yet is insane. Oh, Alistair, a little froggy, froggy, little floggy, froggy, little boggy, boggy on the outside of the ring there. 
But both men are going to take a second to catch their breath. Probably a smart decision, to be honest. As he picks Daniel Bryan up now from the front. And now the boys are going at it again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, a shoot headbutt, but a drop kick. And now both men are reset in the center of the damn ring. Here we go. Alistair Black into the corner. Daniel Bryan, big front missile drop kick into the corner. Drops Alistair Black flush. Dragon corkscrew. He wants them legs, boy. Alistair Black able to get right back up. Big suplex there. Drops a man like a sack of potatoes. Daniel Bryan wants that yes lock. Dragon corkscrew sends him back to the floor. And there it is. Yes lock. Is Alistair Black going to give up? No, Alistair Black and Julian B able to hold on to it. Now he's trying to make Daniel Bryan and Craig R give up. No, both men refuse to give up. Oh, wait a minute. Was that the Bukaki knee? That was out of nowhere. And it's just a 2.9 as Alistair Black says, nah, you good. Uh-oh, both men catching the breath. As Alistair gets back in the ring, he wants that black mass. But Daniel Bryan is not going to give him the chance to do it as he hits a kick. Oh my God, just rubbing his elbow in his face. Look at this face wash here from Daniel Bryan. This dude don't care about nothing. Another Dragon Court screw sends Alistair Black to the floor. Daniel Bryan now. Wait a minute. Brain Buster from Alistair Black. Big bridging German. Can we see? Back to back. And it is! Alistair Black able to put down Daniel Bryan. Alistair Black and Julian B will be moving on to round number two. Another bridging German victory tonight. I'll be damned. And for the last match of this video, match number eight of the first round, on the next video, we will be finishing round one as we go through the last eight matches. We have none other than the big dog. Ooh, ah. Roman Reigns representing Cameron M, who will be facing off against Shinsuke Nakamura, who will be representing Justin Too Deep. And Shinsuke has brought out the black tight pants. My man is through playing around. He knew who he was facing here tonight in the big dog. Roman Reigns making his big dog debut here tonight as he faces off against Shinsuke Nakamura. Welcome to PCW, Roman Reigns. We'll see what you can get done here tonight. As Shinsuke is not playing around, I told y'all he's got the tight black pants on. He is through playing games. Roman Reigns has his work laid out for him here tonight. Shinsuke is looking to be the winner of this tournament. Shinsuke is in full control as Roman Reigns tries to fire back with some elbows some anything he could do to be honest with you some arms just throwing all sorts of limbs at shinsuke nakamura big body slam he's looking he wants that spear early i know i can i can read the big dog we have like big dog telekinesis this is incredible shinsuke body slamming roman reigns there he throws him off the rope skis oh wait a minute oh we saw this move with cody rhodes roman reigns maybe taking a page out of his book who knows Shin, look at Shinsuke's stance. This man is stance up heavy on Roman Reigns. That's wild. This man truly don't care. Oh, he went for a big kick there on Roman Reigns, but Enziguri is what he'll land with. Shinsuke looking for something, but Roman Reigns going to throw him off the ropes. Into the corner goes Shinsuke Nakamura. Big Enziguri drops Roman Reigns. Roman just needs to get something, anything started. Anything whatsoever would be perfect for Roman Reigns as he looks to... Go to the second round in his first PCW appearance. Oh, the boys are getting into it. Shinsuke and Roman Reigns are tossing right now. These dudes don't care about nothing. Roman Reigns with a big axe handle to the back of the head. And now Shinsuke with a punch to the stomach goes for a pin on Roman Reigns. Ooh, getting a two dog. Two dog on the big dog. <laughs> As Shinsuke stands the Roman Reigns up. Looks for something, throws him off the ropes. Oh my God, just straight up tossing him. Roman Reigns don't care. He just sort of ran into him, tossed him halfway across the ring. Step up in Zagiri from Shinsuke, lays out Roman Reigns as Roman's taking a beat in this entire matchup right here. Shinsuke looks like he's been on the juice. Oh, big exploder suplex there. Oh my, oh, oh my God, no way. Kinshasa, this is all she wrote. Two. 
Roman Reigns going out. Two point nine. Roman Reigns is still in this match. The man gave him the taunt and everything, and Roman Reigns was still able to answer the count. I'll be damned. Roman Reigns not going down that easy. If he's going down, he's going down with a big dog fight here. Big punch off the top rope straight to Shinsuke's face. Shinsuke gets him in the... Oh, God. The arm breaker is locked in. Roman Reigns is not going to give up. You knew that. Oh, my God. He's going to make him give up. Shinsuke is making a point here tonight. Roman Reigns looks... He's looking to do anything, man. Because right now, it's not looking hot. Roman Reigns is not going to give up. A punch that Roman Reigns on the top rope. Again, another fist to the abdomen there from Roman Reigns. A suplex lays out Shinsuke Nakamura. Roman Reigns is going to try to get some anything back, honestly. The health, stamina, oxygen, breathing. I mean, he's just looking for anything to get back right now because this has been all Shinsuke Nakamura. The fact that he was able to kick out of that Kinshasa is absolutely incredible. Knee to the back of the head from Shinsuke. Step up in Zagiri. Lays out Roman Reigns like a mattress. Roman, wait a minute. Big running power slam a la Braun Strowman. Is he waiting for him to get up? Big double axe hand. Oh, another. Okay, he's going back up to the top. Okay, dropping a little elbow. Roman Reigns is going to break out some moves you don't normally see him doing. I don't blame him. You're facing off against Shinsuke. Oh, wait a minute. The big dog wants the big fist. He picks up Shinsuke Nakamura. Wait a minute. Oh, a big kick lays out Roman Reigns. The momentum that Roman Reigns had just got siphoned out by Shinsuke Nakamura. Who, look at this. This man Shinsuke has been hitting the gas, bruh. Another running power slam from Roman Reigns. The punches, the combination dropping Shinsuke Nakamura. A body slam sends Roman Reigns to the floor on the outside. Shinsuke, look at he's just look how big this dude is. He got into Sanjay's little little bit of little something something. His stash of goods. Uh oh wait, is Roman Reigns gonna be able to answer the count? Yes, he is able to answer the count. Getting back into the ring now. Damn. That's some strength there from Roman Reigns that just picked Shinsuke up off the mat. 2.9. That was about it. Wait a minute. Oh, he's looking for that power bomb. maybe they used to do. Breaking out everything he can think of. Oh, he might have been looking for that spear there, but Shinsuke was able to stop on the ropes. Everything that Roman seems to be getting ready to do, Shinsuke has it sighted and will, lot, will not let him do it. Big Death Valley driver there from Shinsuke Nakamura. Goes for a kick. No. Into the corner goes Roman Reigns. Big knee in the corner. Oh, he wants that arm. He wants that arm bar. Oh, he went for the kick, but Roman Reigns able to get out of the way. Body slam sends him down to the floor. Roman Reigns looked like he was taunting for something. Will he get that big power bomb? Two, three, and that dude! Ro Roman Reigns defeating Shinsuke Nakamura and the hashtag cancel the PCW network is trending worldwide right now on Twitter. Roman Reigns with a jumping powerbomb takes out Shinsuke Nakamura and moves on to round number two. And we will continue the rest of round number one on the next video. We have eight more matches to go. Some crazy matchups, as you can see here. I mean, these things look insane. We have quite the tournament for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, if you did, to leave that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And let me hear in the comments what your favorite match of the video was. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you guys for the rest of round one in the next video. See you.